Hey, Mr. Samuels. Hey, how are you? What do you got for me? Okay, I have. Um, I need some. I have need some advice. Right. Um, I'm a 30, I'm, I'm a 37 year old woman. All right. Um, two children. Okay. I do not have a problem getting a man. It's just I attract weak men. Okay. I am celibate. I've been celibate for two years. What? I've been celibate for two years. Where did that come from? Is I'm want to know is that the reason why? Mm-mm. You just you two people that came out of you. What you talking about? <laughs> I'm saying I'm trying to understand what's what's the what's the philosophy here? You're not a virgin. You got two people came out of you. What, what what's, what's ooh, going on? Oh, that's oh no, you did not. Oh no, you did not have the nerve to bring vagina out here and close it up at 37 years old with two kids reason, out here. And I'm gonna tell you the reason behind that is because when I do open my legs, they the men be, uh, they get crazy. What do you mean? Tell- do you want me to be blunt for you? you want me to be blunt? No, I want you to be keep it classy, but you're trying to say they get pee whipped? Yes. I, so the so they, the solution got, is so back. so let me get I this right. So let me yes. get this right. So you meet a man that's a high value man, a de- a, a, a good guy. You think you're gonna be celibate for what? What? Till you marry? Yes. You got your goddamn mind. <laughs> I wish you I wish I would meet a 37 year old with two kids and think you gonna shit. Separate it's, checks. See, no, separate checks. Se- check, please. Mm. No, no, listen, 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 man. I'm making okay. light of it because it is crazy. You're almost 40 years old with two kids talking about celibate. You need to be trying to get that shit away to secure a man. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. No, no, okay. no, no. You're talking about, okay, what you said is you attract lower value men not really I okay tra- not tra- the right men crazy men okay. whatever not not good guys weak let's put okay like that. Weak lower men. value is weak okay okay so when i said if you attracted a higher value man you think you're going to make him wait until marriage how do you it's, think that's a- sweetheart i'm gonna tell you like this my cookies is worth the wait well first off check that sweet uh, no your cookies ain't worth the wait because you ain't made nobody wait you got two kids without a marriage I was married. Okay, both times. He's from. They're from the same person. Okay, you were my, married. My, okay, fine. Your cookies mm-hmm. are worth the wait. So, are you telling me you, you only had sex with one man? I mean, no. Everybody, no. No, I'm thirty. All right. So, you not. a virgin on your wedding night? <laughs> I was not. All right. So let's get let's get back to the it's let's get back to the, listen. Can I not listen go no, ahead. you're going to okay. You want answers? I'm gonna give you the answer. Okay. You are older. Name me the product that gains value with age and use. A product that gains value with age and use? Yeah. I want to say, uh-huh. I want to say your mind, but I may be different. I may be I know. I said a product. Can you, where can you go buy a mind? A product. Oh, a product. A product. I don't know, but t- I'm pretty sure you're going to tell me. Uh, Yeah, nothing. Oh, I am. Nothing. And let's just talk about your cookies. They're getting older and they've been used. That don't mean nothing. You're right. They don't. Oh, you are honry. You are No, I'm honest. I'm honest, ma'am. Ma'am, what you're saying is I'm going out to the market mm-hmm. and I'm going to require the next man to pay more than the other guys. I'm going to require you to marry me before I have sex with you. No, you can get no higher than your BD. Wow. You chose to make, you chose, you, oh, okay. So you say you can, like you can, okay, ma'am, listen, you can uh-huh. disagree, but I don't have 15,000 people up here just because I got lights. You ladies often overvalue yourself. Ma'am, you're almost 40. Mm-hmm. How tall are you? How tall are you? I, I, I didn't hear you. How tall are you? Um, about 5'4". Five, 5'4". Four. Five, four. Dress mm-hmm. size. Dress size, mm-hmm. uh, size 10. How much did you weigh the last time you weighed yourself? 180. 
Mm-hmm. As you can tell, I'm heavy chested. Yes. Like I'm, but, mm-hmm. I, but, man, but listen. Mm-hmm. 5'4", 180. You weigh more than a man. <laughs> no. No, I do not. I, just because I weigh more than a man does not mean that. First off, which one first, listen, listen. First off, is it true or not? I said you mm-hmm. weigh more than a man. Then you said no, I no, I do not. And then you said just because I do. Which one is? I it? mean, I can't. You weigh more than a man. You weigh more than a man at your height. Because I'm big breasted. That's no, why. man. Because you're overweight. I want women who have because far bigger. You- man, listen. I'm not okay. trying to. No one can see your picture, but see. Oh. What I need you to do is turn down the diva energy because it's not helping you. Now you're trying to say you, I have diva energy? Yes. Oh, because wow. you, you got this energy like, well, you're mean and you're this and that. I'm like, well, you're the one that called in and said, hey, I'm having problems attracting non-weak men. Correct. And I'm listening to what you're saying and I'm like, well, you attract what you are. Ooh. So do I. We all attract what we are. So, ma'am, listen and turn down the diva energy. At five foot four, 180 pounds, you weigh more than a man at your height. The average American male is five foot 10 and 168 pounds. Five foot four, 180 pounds. Seriously, ma'am, if we height, weight adjusted you, you will be the size of an offensive or defensive lineman. <laughs> Regardless as to how big your boobs are. Because I'm sorry. I just let it, you talk because you okay. Go ahead. Because you're because because you don't you're not 80 pounds of boob. You comical. But okay, but, I'm listening. Okay. What size bra do you wear? Uh size H. Okay. And even if I gave you 25 pounds, yes, which it would be which would be incredible. Still, you're overweight for your height. So let's keep on moving down the path. Wow. All right. Okay. Uh, ma'am, I didn't make the rules, but I'm just saying a woman who's five foot four, dress size four, dress size six, 120 pounds. Mm-hmm. You're about the height of the women I traditionally date, and they're about 120 pounds, so that's 60 pounds more. You, I mean, you're well, fully you said, 50%. You, you said there are 100. The women that you date are 120. That, that's about the that's about the size you should, the healthy. You should that's a healthy girls? weight. No, now see now you about now you about to go somewhere where I'm about I don't to start care. getting. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, no white women. I'm talking. I, deal, I date healthy women. Okay. See, I'm I'm not sensitive. I have tough skin, so. I, but, I'll, but why, I'll, why I'll do you like associate? Why do you associate healthy weight with white? No, I was being sarcastic when I say when well, I why said be, that. Why be? Why? Okay, but that's not necessary. See, the sad part is, black women have gotten so far out of range with how healthy weight is. We associate healthy with white. Or no, ma'am, I can show you women in the seventies who were your height, your weight, mm-hmm. and they were no height, and they were nowhere close to your weight. We have gotten to the point where we just accept this. And that's why am true. I pushing this point? Because it lowers your value. You think and what so? was your value? Simple as that. How old is your oldest child? My oldest child is 17. And your youngest? My youngest, which is my son, he's six. All right. So that means mm-hmm. you got another 12 years. And do you want to have any more children? I do. I got my I have my two side. I'm good. Okay. So any man that you want to attract cannot have children with you. Oh, he would be, he'd become a stepfather. And then what state do you live in? I live not in city, Kentucky. Kentucky. I, I heard you. I'm okay. I'm not incompetent, Kentucky. Okay, so um, I'm assuming if you would you like to get remarried, I would if I came across the right individual. Yes. All right, and and after marriage, do you plan on still working full time? Yes. All right. I know. I was. I grew up. I was born in the '80s. I was raised by my grandma. You know, she was a pastor, and. I know I will take care of my man. You know, I still work, you know, but, I, I, but, mm-hmm. but 
a man would still have to meet you and wait until wedding night and you're not a virgin. Men don't do that at this age. Yeah. This uh, is why we are supposed to get married early so you don't burn because people don't wait that long. If you how long if you met somebody, mm-hmm. how long do you think from the day you met them before the what was the soonest you could be down the aisle? I'll say six months to a year. Okay. Split the difference. Call it <laughs> nine months, which is okay. still pretty fast because because there are no kids involved. Mm-hmm. And what do you think the likelihood of finding a man who's gonna be willing to wait nine months to a year? Ooh, it's it's possible. Sure, if it's possible. Po- sure. See why? Me. Okay, so so again, again, mm-hmm. this is where the delusion starts. Why do you grown women sit back and say it's possible? So if your <laughs> kid came home with and he had a forty nine in the class, and you're like, you need to make an A, and he said, well, you know what? It's, it's possible. It's only a week or two left, but it's possible. You would accept it? Stop! 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 Because okay, you because we, y'all can... always make these because you guys always give yourself the most extreme benefit of the doubt because you're all special because you're never so the, we're not, you're, we're not we're not allowed to feel special about you know you're not no you're not allowed you're not a, you're not allowed to put yourself on a pedestal you're, you're special to your family you're special to your children to us to men out here you're just another woman you're not Ooh. special okay and the humility that is gone from so many modern women is what's so troubling the fact that you think you can be almost 40 years old mm-hmm talking about I'm going to be a virgin and you're going to marry me to get my cookies because my cookies are good. And and thinking that 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 makes sense. Did I say this? I'm going to tell you, it does make sense to me because if I tried the other way, why not try something different? You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If I tried it one way, it did not work. Why not try something different? Well, it's not the sex that was the problem. It's not the sex that was the problem. It's not the sex that was the problem. You trying to say it was me? Uh, Yeah. No. Okay. No. Okay. Because my ex-husband still wants to come back to this day. Okay. So obviously so I was doing something right. Okay. It was him. Once okay. I get, opened my okay. legs, he started acting crazy. Okay. Crazy. See, All right. okay. Okay. And again, mm-hmm. your ex-husband. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And all the and, and the guys you've dated since then, these weak guys. When was the last time you had a relationship? Uh, it's been like four years. Four years. How long did that last? Four years. It was a guy. He was a manager. Uh-huh. And he's a retired A manager veteran. where? Uh, at GE. Uh-huh. GE. Was he hourly? Mm-hmm. Sa- uh, salary. And he was weak. <sighs> okay. I'm asking. You said these you attract weak men. He was weak, right? He turned weak after a while. He did. Okay. He did. How, after a while, I, so, about how long into the relationship did, was he, did you find out he was weak? After we got into, you know, sexual, like three mm. years. You know, it took a while. So he, so he wasn't weak for the first three years. He just I'm got so serious because. All right. So see, why didn't he marry you? He. Why didn't he? Because mm-hmm. I changed my mind. He actually. I mean, no, man. Three. In the first three years, everything oh, yeah. was okay. He wasn't weak. He was a he was a salaried manager. G. And you had two kids. Yes. Yes. Why didn't, you, why didn't you marry him? Because he was like he was older, and you know, older guys are setting their ways. So he what? was like what eight years older than me. And let's be real. Oh, older hold on, older eight years. Mm. What's the hard for? Oh, Jesus Christ! Because at the time I was thirty four, and he was what forty two. Yeah, man. I'm going to let you go ahead and listen to this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Four Ooh. years. Four <laughs> years. And you going and it's all, and it's always out. The fingers are always out there because you got the, oh, Jesus, this is going to make me a million dollars. Are you serious? <laughs> and this is the problem. Women like you walk around thinking you're the shit. And this no, all started because this, no, and this all started. This all, excuse me. I never once said I'm, I think I'm all that. But uh, well, when you think you're going to be celibate till marriage and think somebody's going to do that, that's crazy. Let's be let's be realistic, Samuel. 
it's about value. Uh, about yeah, value. and your value is low. Oh, wow. And how do you know that? You're not Because you're five dude. foot four and 200 pounds. Okay. And 37 years old with two kids. That's how I know. In Kentucky. <laughs> okay. You, that's your opinion. It's not my opinion. You never seen my body before. So you're just I don't have body. to see your body. I know you're five foot four and almost 200 pounds with two kids in Kentucky. And I see your picture. You just say you and I'm listening like to how you talk and I'm listening to your energy I'm listening to your tone I'm listening to your relationships see what it is you ladies don't like when somebody is this direct with you honest I got no dog in this fight I had a woman on here earlier and I told her she was absolutely gorgeous mm-hmm. I ain't trying to screw you you ain't giving me no money what am I getting out of this nothing so, I'm, so why do I have to lie you don't and like I said, I have tough skin, so it doesn't, you know, I'm so you're talking I about value, advice. ma'am. I ask you, what mm-hmm. product in on the market increases in value with age and use? Nothing. You're older, you're used, and your value is lower than it was when you were 25 with no kids than when you was with 20 before you had your first child. That's when your value was the highest before you had a child. And you're talking about celibacy until marriage as if somebody has to treat you like a virgin. And that no. is it. Ma'am, listen. Not having sex with you until marriage is treating you like a born again virgin. No, what's about my value? I don't give a doggone what you call it. It's treating you like a born again virgin. A man cannot have sex with you until he is your husband. That is treating you like a. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm it's just, like y'all validate these hoes out here, but when a woman finds it's her not a hoe, ma'am. Word, Stop. We don't talk about these hoes out here. I'm talking about you. Oh, wow. Right I don't know okay. why you ladies think you can be celibate with two kids out here. Well, you can choose whatever you want, but it ain't working because apparently, here's here's your value. I mean, let's just be let's just be brutal, right? Get right down okay. to it. Okay. Your value is your value is you obviously think your value is much higher than I'm reading, right? Oh wow. I mm. say much higher than I'm reading. Okay. Is that is that true or false? Because you don't like my assessment and you you think your value is higher than 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 it sounds like I'm saying. Is that true or not? No. So you think your value is what I'm saying it is? Well, what are you saying my value is low, right? That's what you're saying? I'm saying it, yes, it's lower than when you had no kids. I mean, that's what any woman after, you know, but, after but, it, but, 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 but you're asking higher prices. Not really. Yes, you not are, man. Really. You're asking somebody to accept I'm you. Not have, equal. That's like, no, no, I'm you're asking equal. for somebody, oh, listen, you, this, is not, mm-hmm. this is not working. You're asking for okay. somebody not to have sex with you until you're married. That's a high price. That's the virgin's price. Wow. That's a virgin's price. That's your opinion. Okay, what would you call it, ma'am? You okay? So I just supposed to be out here just no, 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 ma'am. I don't know. I don't know. No, you just answer my question. You say since my opinion, what would you call it? A man cannot have sex with a woman until she's ma- until he's married to her. That's a virgin price. What would you call That's it? That's a virgin's price. Wow. What would you call it? What I what, what I would call it is having a. Uh, somebody that knows their worth that's what i would call it that's what i would call it be honest with you it's like okay when you get no no ma'am listen you're not i don't think i think you're see this is when your ego is too into this no it's not you're not even listening okay okay if you don't have sex until your wedding night Mm mm-hmm that means that person has no idea who you are in the intimate setting. True or false? That's true. So you That's have to like test being a virgin. Mm. So test test drive. That is like that. being No, ma'am, listen. Stop trying to stop trying to listen to answer and listen to comprehend. Mm. I said you have a virgin's price, meaning he cannot have sex with you until after the marriage vows. That is a virgin's price. 
I ask you, what would you call it? You would say it's knowing my value. No, it's a virgin's price. Okay. Ma'am, is your value higher today than it was when you got married? No. Were you a virgin when you got married? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I was not. It was it was higher. You're right. No, I was not a virgin when I got married. No. So your value was higher when you got married? No, no, it was not. It's not. I don't understand. You Let's ask again. Oh. When you mm -hmm. got married, mm -hmm. was your virgin higher then or is it higher now? It's higher now. Please explain. <laughs> Are you torn? Why are you torn me, me, uh, Catherine? No, ma'am. I'm asking you a simple question. You call me. I'm asking you to explain what you just said. You said, is my value higher now than it was when I was married? I said, was your virgin higher then now. or now? Okay. And you said now. I said, please explain. The reason why I think it's, it's higher now, my vir you said my virgin, correct? No, your value. Oh, my value. Because I, I, you're on my cell phone that's why it's hard to hear you okay my value the reason why i think my value is higher now than it was when i was married because i grown i've learned you know what i'm saying and i got to know who i was as a woman so i think my value has increased because as you get older you learn you grow you mature so that's why i think my value has man increased. this is not a guy okay so again this is uh -huh. the, this is this is the equivalent of yeah. saying I've been on the job for 20 years. Yeah. And I, listen. You have experience. Hey, listen. Listen to freaking comprehend and not yes. respond. Okay. i let you speak. But you've been on the job for 20 years. And how often, but then you go out into the market and you find out that what they were paying you at that job ain't what the going market rate is. Happens all the time. Women do not gain value in men's eyes with wisdom, age, and experience. They gain they gain value possibly in your husband's eyes, but not to just men on the market. You're older and used. No product gains value. And you ladies will sit there and fight logic. And let's just get right to the absolute core of it. Mm -hmm. Are you attracting higher value men? Am I attracting higher value men? Yes. Yes, I am. For yes, marriage. Am. Okay, repeat that one more time. Are you attracting them for marriage? <sighs> no. Be honest with you, no. Because you're not. That don't hurt my feelings. I'm just, I call for you. I'm not saying it's going to hurt your feelings. feelings. It's the truth. I know. I'm not saying because some women, they'll take it personal. It don't bother me. But I but, understand. But I, the thing I, is, ma'am, the thing is, walking around with this 10, with this energy, like, I, I know my value. I know it's, it doesn't help you get the outcomes you want. Mm -hmm. It works opposite. You'll see when this video posts. You'll oh see. I, I can. I can tell you. You can. You'll see when this video posts because I can guarantee you, people are going to have a field day with some of your responses because it's all. It's this ego and prideful, and, and no, completely out. Like, this, uh -huh. Just completely outside of reality. And here's the thing, ma'am. And do you have a sons or daughters? I have a son and a um, a daughter. Okay, and mm -hmm. imagine. If your son just thought he was the best basketball player ever, he was oh, just the shit, best basketball player. He's 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 colder than Michael Jordan. But there comes a point in time where he's going to have to show those skills. And does it matter how good a game he can talk? Does mm -hmm. it matter how high a value? No, his actual value will be determined when the coach puts him on the court and he has to compete against other people. And if he becomes a water boy. He cannot sit around saying I'm the I'm better than the starters. I understand what you're saying. I don't feel like I project like I don't feel like I think I'm better than you know. Ma'am, you there. said your value. That. You said your value is higher as an That's older just, woman because yes, you have I'm, age, I'm, wisdom, and experience. Yes. And li listen to what I'm about to say. 
Okay. Chat, listen, listen. I'm listening. I'm listening. When men pick women, mm-hmm. what what are some of the top reasons men choose a woman? It could be different. Everybody's answering. Oh, different. here's the, see, see, guys, see, see what just happened. See, that's that's that bullshit. Okay. I'm gonna say stability. Some men do Excuse choose women me? for stability. Stability. Yes. Yes. You're, you're insane. You're fucking. Oh, see, this is insane. See, see what happens is they don't want to answer the question, ma'am. I'm, I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask you the question again. In okay. general, okay. Why do men pick women for girlfriends relationships in general? Not, not nuance. Not possibility. What do men generally choose or pick women based upon? Would they uh, pick them based upon? Yes. See, y'all talk to where I'm from. What do they? What do men generally pick women based upon? They looks. They look exactly. Not their What's freaking it? experience and wisdom. Do Have your looks? Do your ever. looks? Do your looks improve? And that's not over true. time. And that's not true. Do all your time. looks improve over time and with gravity? You saying looks all the time? That's do not your true. looks improve over time? Mm. Do you look? Mm. Okay, Kathy. Yep. She meant every bit of that shit. She meant it all. That woman believes everything that was coming out of her mouth don't you for one second think she was joking she was kidding no that's who she she really believed that shit she really believes that i'm more valuable and i'm this i'm that and this is why dying alone and you wonder why and again go back to the beginning why i keep attracting these scrubs and these low-level dudes <laughs>